Hello everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm Stacy from Creatively Stacy. Welcome. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy today's adventure. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be better about doing my decorating for the holidays before the holiday actually goes by. So that's what I'm working on today. And I'm upcycling some pieces, and I thought I would bring you guys along, show you a couple of paint techniques um, that I like to use. And um, I am doing boho colors today, doing some brightness. Um, if you know me at all, you know I like the color, but you could easily do this um, farmhouse, style, farmhouse style with some <laughs> whites and grays and blacks and do it that way if you wanted to soften it up. But I thought I would show you the technique anyways, and uh, you can do it however you want to do it. So to start with, I am using, this is from a bazaar. I took the sticker off, so I'll put it back on to show you. It was 75 cents. So if you guys go to yard sales or bazaars or you dumpster dive, whatever you do, this was a sign that somebody had donated to the, the church for their sale, um, and it's pretty worn and kind of grungy. I cleaned it up, but it's a nice shape and size. It already has a hanger on it, and once we paint it, we can make it anything we want it to be. I'm also going to be using, I thought I saved the tag. <laughs> Here it is. Maybe. Um, at the Dollar Tree, they have these little cutouts. You get five of them for a dollar. Um, they say love on them. They're little wooden hearts. You get five for a dollar. And you could paint them and color them and make a nice garland. Um, hang them off a pitcher or a doorknob or anything like that. I thought I would use them today. And you can use the side, the side that says love if you like that. Or you could just flip them over if you want them plain. So that's a dollar. We got a dollar seventy-five into the craft today. And um, so far... I don't collect buttons, but I saw these. These are also at the Dollar Tree, a whole little thing of buttons for a dollar. So I thought they were really cute. So I'm going to use some of these. So pennies, really, of that. And then I got out a bunch of ribbon. Well, flying ribbon. Oh, look, I didn't even see this one. Oh, that's pretty. Um, not sure what I'm going to use. Ribbon, also, you can always pick up... Um, on clearance on sale at yard sales. These were donated to me. Um, once people know that you're crafty, <laughs> they will donate random things and then you figure out how you want to use them later. So ribbon, that was free for me, but so I think that's, and paint. I'm going to show you some paint. I got my eyes, got a twitch here all of a sudden. Not great for painting. Hang on a second. I think I just got hair in it. Okay. So I'm going to turn you down here so you can see what we're going to do. If you guys pop on later, uh, type replay so I know you were here. If you have any questions or anything, ask them. I, I do try to go back and check all the comments. And um, I always feel like I'm in the dark when I turn you guys down here. Do go back and try to check all the comments and make sure... Let me see if I bring this light down a little. Is that better or worse? I guess it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> let me know if you pop on. Let me know if you can hear me okay, if you can see. All that good stuff. There we go. All right. So to start with, we're going to take this, and I'm going to show you. I'm using, um, I'm using my chalk paint today. I'm using a Bahama Jade. Vintage white and raisin the bar, which is a turquoise, a white, and a purple. So you do you. I'm going to paint to my little heart's content, as I always do. You seem like you're crooked. <laughs> so I don't know how big this piece is. It's not very big. It's, I don't know. Don't have a tape measure. Couldn't guess. It's not very big. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to do like a boho wood grain effect. And to do that, I'm going to tap into my turquoise, my white, and my purple, and just get a little bit of all of them on my brush. And I'm going to do, 
keeping my brush in the same direction, letting those colors blend. It's curved surface, gotta get on the edge, guys. And we'll see if I get full coverage. Um, if not, I can always go back over it. We'll see how we do. We can see how I'm just blending those colors together and that keeping the um, brush straight, doing long strokes. Again, I'm tapping into all three colors. I'm just gonna start again. But a really easy way to get a good wood grain effect, to get a nice blend. Like I said, you could do this in, in white, in a blue and a gray, a black and a white, a gray and a white. You've got options. So if my color choices are a little crazy for you, think outside of the box. And um, down here I missed a little. I'm just going to go ahead and tap a little purple in there and drag it up in. Okay. Okay. So blue, white, purple. Here we go again. If you're popping on, say hello so I know who's here. Let me know if you can see, if you can hear all the things. The more you go over it, the more blending you're going to get. So that's that's personal too. Whatever you prefer, what look you prefer. If you get too blended, you can just go back. Go right back over it and define those lines a little better. So that's easy enough. I'm a little bit light here in the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and get that turquoise white and purple. And I'm going to try to line up my turquoise white and purple with what I did before and just lightly go back over that. I'm going to do the same thing on this one where I seem to be a little light. Anywhere that you feel like you need a touch up. It's nice to do it while the paint is still wet before it has dried too much. So you can get that nice blend. Now I'm just dabbing into my purple and lightly going over just to make a few more defined lines. I'm using a chip brush again today, guys, because um, I want those lines. I'm, go I'm going for that wood green, right? There we go. Pick this up so you can see better. Kind of looks like an Easter egg now. We could have done an Easter egg project just now that I see this shape coming out more. I'm gonna go ahead and do the edges. I'm not gonna clean my brush. I don't, the edges, I don't really, I'm not gonna worry about them being <laughs> wood grained or um, a certain pattern. I'm just getting some color down. So it's fine to let these colors all just blend all the way around. I know you can't see what I'm painting. You'll see it when I get turned around to the other side. <laughs> we'll get you there, just a second. And I wanna go ahead and get some color on these edges. I'm not worried about super full coverage or anything like that. I'm just laying it down so it's not all wood. I feel like the light media is shining in my eyes today. I don't know. It's really bright outside because of the snow we got, so that's really pretty, but I think it's messing with my lighting in here. <laughs> What's everybody up to today? Husband says there's big football games on today. Whoever wins goes to... Um, I guess the Super Bowl? Uh, I don't know. I might pop out and watch that a little bit with him today. Assuming we get to that and don't forget. All right, so we think. 
So far, so good. Now, if you want even more of a wood grain effect, you can take a small brush, just a little, a little brush, and you can actually go back in. A lot of this won't show because I'm going to be um, doing the background, or doing, I'm going to be putting the hearts and stuff on it, so it's not really going to show. But you can go in and just do little circles, little half C's in spots to make knots. I don't know if it'll show on camera. It does show pretty good on in person. I'm going to use that darker purple. And then just draw through them to really give you that. Do some dashes. Oh, that was the fingerprints. To really get more of that wood, wood, wood look, if that's what you want. Um, easy way to add them. For me, I'm not really going for a serious, I'm just going to erase those, seriously wooded effect. I'm just going for an impression. I just grabbed a dry brush, you guys, and I'm just dabbing through that a little bit. I'm going to dry it off because I want to get to the next step. Actually, no, I'll set it aside and let it dry for a few minutes on its own. We'll start on the hearts and the buttons. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to grab these hearts. I'm using three out of the five for this project. Um, and I don't really care that they say that they say love. I don't, I don't need that, so I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to do a similar technique on the hearts as I did on... Um, Maybe I am if I can find what I do with my screwdriver. Here we go. So I'm going to use that same white. I grabbed a couple of pinks. Um, you could certainly just do a solid color of pink or red, I guess. A red wouldn't go with, with the color scheme I'm using, but you could totally do that. See, so you guys, when your cans sit around, you got to stir, 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 stir when you open up paints. If they're in uh, bottles, shake them. So let me just get this stirred up here real quick. I thought I stirred them all before I came on, but I didn't. So let me just grab this real quick here. Get it stirred up good so I have a nice shade to use. Again, I'm using my chalk paints today, but you could use any acrylics too for this. Snow free and I'm not happy. Oh, hi, Christine. <laughs> We didn't get nearly as much. We got more snow Thursday when they didn't predict a storm. And we got like four inches Thursday here. Now, um, a couple towns over, you can still see leaves in their yard and grass and stuff. It's, it's bizarre. So we got like four inches Thursday. We probably got, I don't know, two or three inches yesterday. But it's, it, it's not... It blew around. It's melted because it got warmed. It's like... I don't know, not even, not even six inches out there. So I wouldn't call that a storm. We had a lot of ice um, with the freezing yesterday. The roads were really bad, but um, it's it's <laughs> it wasn't the storm they told us we were getting. Let's say that. Although you know, I think there is enough. We could probably get the cross country skis out. Maybe I don't know what time the football games start. Maybe I can talk them into doing that. So I'm using a light, a really light pink. It's called um, Don't Make Me Blush. So I'm going to use that. Set that aside. And I'm going to use that same uh, berry dance that I used in the craft we did the other day, which is a raspberry pink. So if, you, if you're looking for similar colors, I'm looking for, I've got a real pale pink, and I'm doing a raspberry pink, and I'm going to do white. Raspberry one is getting Mister. <laughs> we'll wet it down a little bit. It's getting pretty. Hi, Leanne. I'm just playing today, doing a little upcycle with some paints, getting, trying to get a Valentine's craft. You know, you guys, I always have all these ideas to make stuff for all the holidays, and then I don't know where the time goes. The next thing I know, like Valentine's Day will be tomorrow and nothing will be done. Oh, I just got paint all over my face. No biggie. 
No worries. I need another chip brush here. Let me grab one. Okay. So same thing, I'm going to use a chip brush again on these. Yes, I'm playing. I am. I'm just, I just needed to get in the craft room and do something so that <laughs> this could go any which way. But I, I do have a plan, I swear to you. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with this background that's drying. That same effect I'm going to do on these little hearts, but I'm going to do it in pinks and whites. So I've got two different shades of pink and one shade of white. And I'm just going to dab into all of them. Get all three on my brush again. These should go fast, right? So keeping my brush long strokes up and down. Globbing paint everywhere, apparently. <laughs> right? Some days it goes like that. So dabbing into all three colors. And just getting it onto this heart. There's no way to do this without getting paint on you unless you wear gloves. So if you don't like paint on you, sorry about your luck because this is what it is. I'm going to go right ahead around these edges. I don't, I see people paint with gloves. I'm not a glove. I wear, I have to wear gloves at work when I do um, color, but I, I wear them the least amount of time possible and take them off as soon as possible. So I'm not a glove glove fan. So there. I'm just going to take my brush and lightly go right back over that because it made little knobbies on the edges. But see, two pinks and a white. Putting all the colors on my brush. I'm not a glove girl. God gave you hands to get them dirty. That's right. We all wash, right? Just get in there and have fun with it. All right, so again, I'm going to get all, all three colors on my brush. I've got two different shades of pink and a white. Same idea. I'm just getting it right on there. These aren't very big. I don't know. I don't know how big they are, but they had different ones. They had some that had different words on them, so you could always get... Whatever they had, like I said, because you can just turn it over if you don't. I'm not even using the word side. I'm just turning it over. So just because I didn't want words on it, but you can totally use the word side if you prefer. Although if you do that, I would definitely probably recommend acrylic because I'm afraid the chalk paint is just going to cover your words up completely and you won't see them. Where are you? There you are. I'm not even painting on camera, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm because I'm holding them. Because <laughs> I can't lay them down to paint them. Where are you? Come here. Oh, there you go. Hi. <laughs> so, but you can see by just using a few shades on your brush at one time, you get a really cute um, streaked effect. And like I said, if you're going for a farmhouse, then use whites and blues and grays or whatever. And if you get too blended, you know, you don't have enough. Ooh, why is it doing that? Weird. Um, of the dark or whatever, just grab a little bit on the edge of your chip brush and add it in. Okay. I love the look of the chalk paint better than the acrylic. I do too. I tend to be, I tend to, I, I like the versatility of the chalk paint because I can use it to paint furniture, I can use it to paint glass, I can use it to paint anything. Um, and I and I like the textured feeling of it. It's a chunkier, that's a thing, it's a chunkier paint. So you get a lot more texture with it. Um, the acrylic is a lot thinner. Um, and I wouldn't use acrylic to paint um, furniture, obviously. Although, I don't know, maybe some people do. I just, you just get a lot better coverage with the chalk. So I like it. And, and it is, a, I mean, there's lots of chalk paints out there. I use the Junk Monkey chalk paint because that's what I, I've come to know and love. It's very affordable. Um, you get, get a good bang for your buck with it. Um, 
so that's what I use. But um, there is chalk paints available at Walmart and um, Amazon and Michaels and stuff like that. So I guess you have to just try it and see what you like. I know I love the Junk Monkey, so that's what I use. But um, to each their own. There. So that's those. We did good. All right. Now we're going to really get into it because you guys popped on later. I was saying I bought those hearts at the Dollar Tree. I bought the, the wooden piece at a yard sale for 75 cents. And I bought um, buttons at the Dollar Tree. A whole thing of them for a dollar. And I'm using them all. I'm using everything today just to make something fun. So, I'm going to paint the buttons, and I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm just going to throw some paint on these buttons. That'll really make a good mess on my fingers. Who's got a good tip for me on a better way to paint buttons? What should I put them on or, or something so that they would be easier to paint? You guys are all crafty out there. I know somebody's got to have a good idea, right? In the meantime, I'm just painting my hands. <laughs> and I oh, and I'm making a mess and I'm also not going to worry about getting 100% full coverage on the buttons I just want to get I have no idea how to paint buttons without getting paint on everything you guys somebody tell me what's the secret to button painting <laughs> we're just going to roll with it we're going to do some darker and some lighter I don't know what I was thinking with this. Did not think this through. I probably should have at least put them on a paper towel. Put a wood screw or skewer through the hole. Yes, that probably would. Like if I put them, you know, I have egg cartons. If I did a toothpick, I could hold them down in an egg carton. Ah, that, that would probably be good. But here we are. So... <laughs> Definitely didn't think that through. Oh, I need some more dark ones. Just going all in at this point, guys, because this one's green, and I'm not really a fan of the green. The other ones were kind of blue or gray, so it wouldn't really matter, but this one's orange. Oh, the fun. All right. So we're good on all of that. It's not fun if you're not covered in paint. I might have to touch those up a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. All right. So I'm going to dry this in a second. But before I dry this, while I have my pinks out and my paintbrush dirty, I'm going to go ahead and do some edging on it. And then we'll dry all of these. And get it go get it together. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take my dirty brush, smash it around into whatever. I'll wipe it off. So it's not so crazy. I'm gonna just go around this edge a little bit. And same thing around here a little bit. Right? I'm going for that grungy, shabby look. Okay, I'm going to take my brush and just do a little bit here and there. Bring it together, right? Actually, I might even just do a little bit of that dry brush right through it. Just like I did on that picture frame, you guys, I did the other day with you. Same idea. Getting wild and crazy with it. I'm going to have some color on my walls, if nothing else, right? And if you do too much and you don't like it, just go back with your purple and your teal and your white and blend it out to whatever you want it to be. Set that out of the way. Grab my blow dryer and I'm going to plug in my glue gun. So let me move this paint thing over so that if the glue drips, 
it drips on that instead of on my table. Let's plug this in. All right. Now I've got everything plugged into one outlet. <laughs> so if it all goes dark, you'll know why. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right. Cover your ears. Turn down your volume. This is only going to take a second because a lot of this is almost dry already. up my pink. I said these buttons I might need to do a little touching up on but we will see. Let me turn you down here again so you can see what I'm putting them together. Oh where'd you go? Come back. Come back. Oh there you go. Okay. I pushed a button guys. That was quick. Yeah it doesn't it doesn't I didn't it, chalk paint dries really fast anyways. Now you guys could you could go if you want like a buttery smooth finish you could um do a light sanding on that or if you wanted to distress it a little bit with a sander you could do that. But um, I'm just making a quick, see how, because I did the stripes and the hearts, you know, I did that like wood grainy look, even though it's pink. Use your, use your imagination. And I did it in this piece of wood hanging thing that I got at a yard sale for 75 cents. If you see that stuff, don't walk past it. You'd be amazed what you can do with it. It's, and, and people will bargain with you if it, you know, if it's. If they had $2 on this, I wouldn't have paid $2. I would have waited. I'd have gone back, and I would have said, can I give you $0.50, cents? you know, and if, at the end of their sale, they might just say, you sure, take it, and take those other ones, too. So just, and so I just, these, <laughs> this is where, this is where the creative brain goes, you guys. You're just playing with ideas. I just wanted something to put on the wall and be cutesy. And they are dollar store buttons, dollar store hearts, and um, yeah. And now that I have everything laid on here, I'm wondering where's the hanger? Is it at the top or is it upside down? <laughs> I feel for it. Okay, it's at the top. Good. So there. That's just kind of, you know, quick, fun, cheap home decor. I don't know if my glue gun's going to be dry. Or dry. I'll tell you guys my words in my head. <sighs> Too much stress. Need more, more crafting and more painting and more art therapy. So, yeah, my glue's not. I'll post a picture later. But you get the idea. I'm going to just hot glue. Hi, thank you. I'm just going to hot glue this on here. And then I have this cute little thing to hang on the wall. And you can, you could put words on there. Leanne, and your, um, these would, something like this would be really cute in your wreaths. And you can either use the words or put words, but really easy. Just dabbing some paint on them. I don't know if you use buttons in your wreaths. You could use buttons too. But yeah, thinking outside of the box and playing with ideas. Hi, I'm up. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you do. So, 
I'll post a picture of it when I get it glued. But just fun, easy, something to do. All right. You guys have a great day. Thank you for joining me. And uh, hi. <laughs> I need to spend more time playing with paint. Yes. You, do, you could do a lot, you know. I mean, this stuff that they have at the Dollar Tree, you need get five of them. So I don't know how many you would use on a wreath. You could probably use split them up from a couple of wreaths. You could hang some down from the middle. They come with hanger thingies. Oh, I never did the ribbon. See, I'll have to do, I can't do that till after I glue them, but I was going to make some little rag ribbons, just some little ones and, and hot glue them where these circles are. So you won't see, um, you won't see those little holes. I'm going to put little, little ribbons on there. So, all right. When my glue gun heats up, I'll get it together. Yeah, um, yes. It. They have a lot of really neat stuff, and it's not, you know, it's this little thin little wood, but what, it's it's for decoration. It's not going to get a lot of use and abuse, so you can't go wrong. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get off here, you guys, and uh, hopefully get this glued down and then go make some lunch probably. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you soon. All right, bye.